If you were a teenager or a young adult during the 80s, then I'm betting that you remember this movie well. During the summer of 1986, it was not only making bank at the box office, but the movie soundtrack was burning up the charts. And these two actors, Kelly McGillis and Tom Cruise, well, they had such chemistry. Upon leaving the movie, I remember hoping that they would be on screen together again. Flash forward 30 plus years and now we have Top Gun Maverick, which I'm happy to report is every bit as good, if not better, than the original film. And Mr. Cruise is again really great as ace pilot and flight instructor Pete Maverick Mitchell. However, Kelly McGillis is nowhere to be found in this movie. As I think back on the film, I don't even remember her character ever being mentioned. Instead, the filmmakers have introduced a new character, Penny, who was talked about a couple of times in the original Top Gun. Penny is played by the really wonderful actress Jennifer Connelly, who much like her co-star Tom Cruise seems to have figured out how to stop time when it comes to aging. I know, I know, plastic surgery is part of the equation, but still, holy cow, they both look great. Which brings us back to Kelly McGillis. You all know where I'm going with this. According to a recent article in Variety magazine, the movie's director Joseph Kaczynski says that Kelly, along with Meg Ryan, was never part of the plans for the new movie, which is supposed to take place some 30 years after the original. According to Kaczynski, he felt like it was important to not have the entire movie be about looking backwards at the past. He wanted to introduce new characters. And sadly, Kelly and Meg had played characters in the original film that Kaczynski, Cruz, and the rest of the creative team, well, they felt they were expendable. Now, do I think that that's the only reason for Kelly being cast aside? Nope, I do not. And truth be told, neither does Kelly. In an interview that originally appeared a few years back while Top Gun Maverick was still in production, Kelly answered the question as to why she thought that she hadn't been invited back. Her response was frank and to the point. She said, I'm old, I'm fat, and I look age appropriate. Now, it's important to mention that Kelly doesn't seem all that heartbroken about not appearing in the sequel. But still, I think it's kind of a shame that the filmmakers weren't able to get her and Meg Ryan somehow involved in the movie. After all, Tom Cruise had been very vocal about his desire to see Val Kilmer return to the role of Iceman. This despite Val's significant health issues. I'm just saying, it would have been great if Tom had been equally vocal about Kelly and Meg. And Jennifer Connelly still could have been in the movie. There's no reason why Maverick couldn't have rekindled that relationship in the same manner that played out in the movie. But end of the day, along with not wanting to look back too much, I'm convinced that the filmmakers wanted the movie to be filled with good looking and attractive people. And the reality of aging, well, it sometimes gets in the way, if you know what I mean. Now let me step off my soapbox and stop branding. One more thing about the movie that I really loved was Miles Teller. He was absolutely great as Goose's son, Rooster. That storyline, which was also one that looked back heavily at the original movie, worked on so many levels for me, and Miles did a great job of channeling the spirit of the actor who played Goose, Anthony Edwards. Now, I don't want anyone to misunderstand me. I am a huge fan of Jennifer Connelly, especially her early movies like Labyrinth and this one, Career Opportunities, which featured a really fun cameo by none other than John Candy. I've made a video about that legendary comedian that I think you might really like. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. Thank you so much for watching.